Sam is a doctor working in a hospital and Daniel presents to the clinic, Daniel has been feeling ill for the last few days. Good morning, Daniel. What seems to be the problem today? Oh, doctor, I feel terrible. Please help me. Okay, Daniel, tell me more. In what way do you feel terrible? I am hot and I'm shivering. My back hurts and it really stings when I go to the toilet. What do you mean? Does it sting when you urinate? Yes, doctor. And it looks cloudy, cloudy, Fidia. Okay, Daniel, come through here so I can examine you. After examination. So, Daniel, your temperature is high. Your heart rate is also higher than it should be. I think you might have a urine infection or UTI. It's really important that we treat this properly. I need to see if there are any signs of infection in your urine. Please, can you urinate in this spot? Why? We will send your urine off to the laboratory and the microbiology team will see if there are any bacteria or germs in it. Okay, how long will that take? That will take some time, Daniel. In the meantime, it's important that we act now to stop your infection getting any worse. Can you tell me, have you felt like this before? A few weeks ago, it started to sting when I went to the toilet. My wife had some tablets left over from when she was ill last year, and she gave them to me to try. And they made me feel better. Tablets? Do you know what they were? Uh, amoxy, amoxy something. I'm sorry, doctor, I don't remember. I took them for a couple of days, and I felt much better. Okay, Daniel. I'm glad you came here to see us today. It's so important that we find out what the problem is. Sharing tablets meant for someone else really isn't a good idea. Sam has assessed Daniel and thinks he is showing signs of a serious urine infection. Daniel's previous antibiotic use puts him at increased risk of a resistant infection. When selecting the correct antibiotic to treat the infection, Sam should follow the principles of starting SMART. It is important that Sam selects an antibiotic which is likely to treat the bacteria that Daniel has. And as Daniel is showing signs of severe infection, it is important that Daniel gets an antibiotic quickly. Sam phones the pharmacist for some advice. Hi, Anita. I need some advice, please. Hi, Sam. Of course. How can I help? I have a 50-year-old male patient who is showing signs of severe UTI. What is the empiric treatment of choice? Have you looked at our prescribing guidelines, Sam? No, sorry. I always forget about that. I have sent a urine sample off to the lab, though. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Is it worth getting a blood culture, too? Yes, I was thinking that. So guidelines for severe UTI would be ciprofloxacin. I don't think we have any on the ward. Is it okay if someone comes to collect from the pharmacy? Of course. It's really important that we give the patient the first dose of antibiotics quickly. Please, can you send someone with a prescription and I will check it's appropriate and process it as soon as possible. Anita, the pharmacist, will clinically review and validate the prescription, making sure that it is appropriate for Daniel. When it comes to antimicrobial stewardship, we must ensure that we use the right drug for the right patient at the right time, using the right dose via the right route for the right duration of time. 72 hours later. Doctor, please can you review the antibiotics for Daniel? He is feeling much better. He has no pain, his observations are all stable, and he really would like to go home soon. Thank you, nurse. I haven't reviewed him yet today. I'll just go to the microbiology lab to check if his urine or blood samples grew anything. Well, Daniel, I'm glad you came to visit us this week. The blood and urine samples that we sent to the laboratory grew a bacteria called E. coli. What is that, doctor? E. coli is a nasty bug which can cause really serious infections. 
infections if not treated with the right antibiotics. The E. coli the lab grew from your blood and urine was already resistant to some antibiotics. What does that mean, doctor? Well, Daniel, the good news is you're on the right antibiotic. You can switch to a tablet now that you are better. You must complete the full course I prescribed you so we can be sure the infection is cured. Oh, thank you, doctor. If you experience any more symptoms like this, please come back to us immediately. You have grown a resistant bug, which could become more difficult to treat in the future. Daniel, please don't take your wife's antibiotics again. Sharing antibiotics can increase the risk of resistance developing. Please take the antibiotics as described on the label and do not save them for future use or share them with others.